<laughs> Robin. You're listening to Opie and Anthony. Opie and Anthony on the virus. Serious XM. What's up, Josh? That's right. Last time I came What's here, you guys up? wouldn't give me the time of day. Remember? Oh, oh <laughs> man. <laughs> remember? So remember? I remember that. Oh, oh you're a theater out there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Right. Now, oh, the theater. Like What's that like? Yeah. Fun? Let me, t- <laughs> let me tell you about this theater actor really fast. Yesterday, me and uh, the wife there are, are online trying to get tickets for Book of Mormon. I know you passed this, Josh, but let me just share this with you. Oh. Uh, we want to turn someone on, in our family onto the Book of Mormon. $800. Oh, shit. $800 for tickets. And this shit. wasn't a ticket agency. Jesus. This was the box office. You should have called me. I couldn't help you, but you should have called me. <laughs> <laughs> but they're now going for, I guess, four hundred dollars a pop through wow. the box office. That's amazing. It's Where's still that very on stage? good. Uh, no, Better the seats it. were they were good, but they weren't yeah. like holy shit good. Damn. Did you? Right. How much did you pay to see me though? Free. Oh man, how gratis. does that make you feel? How does really that depressed. make you feel? Gratis. That was before it's they actually really depressing. They got rid of that free shit right after us though. We got we skated. Did you really get to see it for free? Yeah. Yeah, we were one of the. F- I mean, because they didn't do that for anyone. I got to see it three times for free. <laughs> Once because we were interviewing you, yep. and you didn't sing that day because you had uh, some of your throat. So, and I loved it so much. And they're like, look. We apologize, Josh, because you're interviewing. Do you want to see it with him in it? We'll, we'll have you come back when Josh is in it. I'm like, yeah. So I went back again, and I saw it with you in it. Amazing again, three or four days Wait, later. And much, someone bought a ticket for me recently, but Andrew's not in it. Michael Potts was not in it, and you're not in it. How much you want? Because you really did save me money. I, I, take, I saw. I mean, I'll take what the equivalent would have been, which would have been about four hundred. So I'd like, I, I, and I and I'd like that in hard cash. I, I got forty. I'll take it as a down payment to what you owe me. Uh, no, it's still, I actually got to see it the other night, which was an out of body experience. I can imagine. Was, was that the first time you saw it? No, it was the first time I saw the Broadway cast. I got to see it on tour. Um, Andrew and I both went to the opening of the LA tour and it was incredible, but it was really like looking over your body. Like, it's just like, what this, what the hell is happening here? Mm. Did you uh, like the version? I, I, I can't imagine how nervous they must've been with you two in the audience. I mean, no, they, I mean, they did an extraordinary job. It was so cool to see somebody else's interpretation of what I've been playing for a year and a half. And then going back and seeing my cast do it was remarkably weird. I bet you're, I bet you're just being nice because uh, that's like saying, oh, I enjoy, like, like your wife starts sleeping with someone else. You look in the window and go, I enjoyed watching someone else's interpretation of fucking my wife. But I do. See, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> but I do. Then we're it's, fine. I think it's great. It gives me ideas. It yeah. gives me like, oh, that's that's what I, I like. That's what, what he should did. have done. Yeah. I like what he did with that ass part. Yeah, yeah. I never that's thought good. to do that. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you could physically do that. Yeah. I never it. thought to shoe polish my whole body. <laughs> 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 that would be strange to see <laughs> Book of Mormon. <laughs> how many times? How many shows did you end up doing? Did you uh, keep track? Uh, yeah, I did about four hundred fifty. Wow. I did about 450 performances, and uh, now that you're not part of it, did it ever get old? Be honest. Oh, I would have told you while I was doing it, it was getting old. <laughs> I have like ADD big time, so for me, when I do something for more than a week, I'm like the same thing. I'm like, oh fuck, what am I doing? This is insanity. But by the end of it, I was really like just kind of checking out a little bit and just being like, oh god, what? I wonder what I'm going to get after the show. I'm starving <laughs> right now. Um, kind of on autopilot. Yeah, you tend bit. to get there, and then something happens where you're just like, oh, okay. Uh, I totally forgot all my lines because mm. my brain was elsewhere, and you're like, that won't happen again. Have you done that? Oh, my God. There was a night oh, shit. There was a night where I literally, I was singing the, the second app opening, You're Making Things Up Again, Arnold, and there's a line that opens the song. And I t- not only did I forget the line... I forgot the human fucking language. I forgot English. (laughs) I literally forgot how to speak English. I couldn't come up with anything. They're staring at me. My cast is feeding me the line. The the guy in the pit is feeding me the line. And I was so... All I heard was... "Mm." It was like a ringing (laughs) in my ears. I couldn't hear anything. And, And I'm like... Literally, all I could say was, what the fuck am I supposed to say right now? That's what I said. You said that? I said that. Oh, that's great. I literally could not, because everybody was like feeding me the line like, 
Josh the line is and I'm like I can't hear you so what was, was going on in your awful. mind I don't even remember I was just like it was literally it must have been like God it would be really nice if I could take a shit right now were you it was so like something freak- like that were you so freaked out did you go to a doctor to make sure your brain was okay yeah well it's it's just you know you can't like <laughs> you you do the same thing over and over again that e- e- you know, you're like, oh, okay, I can think about whatever right now. It doesn't really matter. And then all of a sudden, you're like, oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, I've done this so many times, but it can just go away like that. So you become very hypersensitive right. to it. Did that not happen to anybody, or did everyone go through no, it? No, I think point? it tends to happen to... Uh, Andrew went up online. I mean, we all go up online. It's it's a part of... When you do a show for over a year and a half, which I did, it just becomes a little... All right. I, I I just saw something. We're, you're obviously here to promote 1600 Pen. That's right. You met Obama? I met Whoa. Obama. Holy fuck. How was that? It was incredible. He's very presidential. Were you freaked out? I was very freaked out. He comes up to me and he goes, he goes, so, uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. And I go, uh, literally, that's all I could say. And he goes, well, uh, how are you today? And I said, well, Mr. President, I'm much better now. And I don't know what the fuck the implication of that statement was. <laughs> the Secret Service like, tackle was I me. like, was I bad? Like giving a tour of the White House? Um, but he was incredible. He was so generous. He gave us about 20 minutes of his time. Wow. Um, talked to us about the importance of comedy, especially in light of the fact that w- the work that he does is so serious and sometimes it's important to laugh. I got a second question because uh, our friend Sway met uh, President Obama. Yeah. And he says, you are fully aware that if you do something stupid, you could die in that room. <laughs> That's right. That's, that's, that's Sway's that's, interpretation. That it's is like, right. You see these guys that mean business, and they're not going to fuck around. They will kill you if they have to. No, was, they, was, he, was he lighting cigars with $100 bills and saying, this is Anthony Cumio's tax money? <laughs> 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 I just lighting cigars, hand them out. Have more, boys. Come on. <laughs> no? Oh, I no, that, that didn't happen. That oh, didn't okay. happen right Because I, I heard that was going on did, in yeah. there. Did you have yeah. the awareness, though, that you had to be on your oh, oh, abs- Uber best behavior? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. He's also a very intimidating man. Like He's just... Has a very powerful that's presence. That's racist, really. It's, yeah, well, that, that's exactly. <laughs> he has a very yeah, powerful, exactly. powerful presence, and he, he's just—I uh, love him. And, and I, I was just blown away by by the fact that he spent so much time with that's us. That's so cool. Very Man. generous. Did he watch sixteen hundred pen with you guys? Or? <laughs> no, he didn't. So he gets up into uh-huh. the screening room. He uh, he introduces it and he gives a ten minute speech. John Lovett, who's one of the writers on our show, used to be a speechwriter for him, and it was basically like he just was razzing him for a good five minutes and then uh talk about the show a little bit and then he goes so uh i uh this is the worst impression of a mama of all time by the way and i readily admit it but he goes <laughs> he goes uh so it was my intention to watch the show today but uh turns out i've got something to do and i just thought that, that was, of yeah. course you have something right. to do you probably have that's, mm-hmm. a, that's a great excuse yeah, to always have like, yeah that's like in yeah, your back pocket have. you're not going to question that no if that's in your back pocket you, well, you're you're good no, the one other, of the free world probably could come up with something a little more right. important one, yes. o- one other question is, does he have a sense of humor because it, it, does, it doesn't come across as well on tv we, oh my god yeah, when in person he he's got an on every one of the seats in the theater what nothing <laughs> <laughs> he's got an incredible sense of humor and was like i said he was just razzing john and and it was like laugh out loud material he's didn't, great didn't he say his favorite show is chappelle show he loves chappelle show really? did he yeah yeah yeah. hilarious yeah he's very funny chappelle he's a very fun. funny guy I, I yeah he's really funny hmm. man so okay you got the new show got the uh, new show now you're working with uh bill pullman i am you uh, remember him from other presidential roles please independence day yeah one of my favorites right david my david <laughs> That's my favorite part. Yeah. Just Judd Hirsch being yeah. not not being the stereotypical. I think the, his part was written by like Goebbels. That was fucking <laughs> the most stereotypical. My son David saved you. My son David. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, my he's, God. he's back in the role of the presidency. <laughs> yes. This time, uh, they, he plays a good president. He plays a great president. Yeah. You know, it's once they rebuilt the White House, I think he's much more accountable <laughs> yes. yeah. uh, to make sure it doesn't happen again. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he's amazing. I mean, the guy is just. You know what's so great about him, though, is like everybody remembers him from Independence Day, but it's like if you go back and you look at like Spaceballs, yes. Ruthless People, the guy is a genius comedian. He really is a brilliantly funny and dry witted. Yeah. And that that's the part for us that was so great is that like that he was bringing that kind of comedy juice to. And you to are world. yeah you're you're the you're the first son. I'm the first son. How where who was the last first son? In in the White House. I'm gonna guess life. Reagan's kid. Yeah, Ron Reagan. Yeah, Ronnie Reagan. Yeah, was it? 
Uh, yeah. That's probably right. No. No. George Bush. Well, he had daughters. I, like in, George George Bush Sr. George Bush Sr. But had like in oh, the, Jeb that and lived George. in the White House, I mean. I think like that kids. lived yeah, in the White right. House. That lived in the White House. Long, long ago. Are we talking like, uh, it's like Kennedy John, maybe? John? Well, John John. Jesus. Well, what's yeah. that about? Why is it always daughters? I know. It's, it's weird, right? It's strange. It is kind of strange. I never thought about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're all left handed. They're all left handed, too. If you really? do the research, most, of per most presidents are left handed for some reason. Oh, Isn't that interesting? There is some sort of conspiracy. Who's the last right handed right. president? Wow. Last right-handed president, probably um, Taft. Whit probably Whitmore from Independence Whit Day. Whitmore, yes. <laughs> Whitmore. Are they mostly Whitmore. lefties? Doesn't that name? work a different side of your brain or yeah, something? Yeah, that's probably why it mm. does. It's a pain in the ass. My daughter, we think, though. is left-handed. She's that two. She's just started. Hail to the chief. We think she might be the next president because mm -hmm. <laughs> she's left-handed. Because she's left-handed. Yeah. That's always a sure sign. <laughs> that's all you need. And if you're ambidextrous, forget about it. <laughs> now, uh, <laughs> uh, you're, now you're apparently a problem to the uh, first family. I am a problem. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah. Skip is he's seven years in college, didn't graduate. He uh, he started some uh, major problems for his his father, and uh, he's very <laughs> he's not very accountable for his actions, and it causes him some trouble. Love the media always um, media is always chasing, and, that, and that's the beauty of the show. The, the show is essentially a family show about uh, an ordinary family in the most extraordinary bubble imaginable. They live in the mm. White House, got a twenty four hour media news cycle following their every move. Right, and uh, and it is it's it's incredible how much you know of of that will change what you do and how you do it um so that's that's the mm. fun of the show oh, i i do recall uh, years ago even though i am a child of the 80s um yeah uh that <laughs> I, I, re I recall the days of billy carter who was a, oh, a, a, yes. just an embarrassment i, I, I to too recall Jimmy. the days of billy carter <laughs> yeah it was an embarrassment to the carter family uh and and even back then and this was before the press really was just on everything 24 hours a day they did report on some of the wacky uh, hijinks of uh, Billy Carter. Oh, yeah. He yeah. was great. I can only imagine Billy now. Beer? Billy had no influence. He had in his own beer. Yeah, yeah, no. Billy <laughs> no, no influence. How great is that? Yeah. Billy Beer. They named a beer after the president's right. drunk brother. I love Jimmy Carter like that? That is great. Oh, I, I don't think you like that. Nah. But it is, I mean, it's amazing because it's you are under the scrutiny of this. And I, I actually did an interview with Jenna Bush the other day. And Ooh. it was very cool to just talk to a first child and and like is she know, pretty she really is she's beautiful yeah she's, be she's pregnant now she married oh. right now. she's pregnant well i hope she's married yeah, no she's pregnant jesus yeah. that'd be awkward we expect what kind of world do we live in <laughs> 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 so yeah so it was, uh, that's pretty cool yeah it was very cool yeah so uh what was so that? you didn't and uh, no influence uh, from billy carter or anything is, is that whole there's thing? influence there's influence from everybody yeah yeah you take from it's, everyone I, it runs the gamut of first yeah. children and relatives and I, I stole a little bit from everybody you guys still filming the season no we're done, done we done. did 13 episodes um and uh show airs thursdays on nbc at yes. 9 30 and yeah we're really excited it's uh it gets better and better and better and now, who's the first lady um, jenna elfman right jenna elfman yes dharma dharma and from greg. dharma and greg greg's not exactly. on it exactly and uh, she's pretty remarkable. She's uh, tall, isn't she? She's beautiful. She's yeah. tall. She's statuesque. She's very statuesque. Mm, I like a good statuesque girl. Yeah. yeah. So do I. Mm -hmm. She plays my stepmother. But he really does stepmother. mean girl. Stepmother. <laughs> oh, Anthony oh, really means girl. girl. Yeah. Okay, oh, not when he says girl, he means girl. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you came here for sex. <laughs> <laughs> what was that movie you did a few years ago? It was, uh, I can't remember. It was, you were so good in it, man. You were, uh, Thank you. Your brother got Dumped or whatever by a chick. Um, Love and other drugs. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Love and other drugs. This guy, I didn't even know. I just I, a lot of nudity and sex in that film. Oh, you look great, that in that good. man. Really? Thank now you. I got to see Thank that you. movie. Thank really you. good. Fuck. If you've always wanted to see my ass, well, now's your chance. All right. That, all right. Sh that movie showcases it. Cool. Was it awkward being nude in a it, movie? It's it's not necessarily awkward being nude. It's awkward wearing one of those socks around your oh. your privates, uh, the little uh, cock sock as they call it. Because so it's one it... of those little anklet baby ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got to be really embarrassing. <laughs> the little toddler ones. That you get. Yeah, they give you a little <laughs> yeah, a little baby sock, a little <laughs> newborn sock. <laughs> There's a little strap that they put on, or or if it's oh. big enough, you just kind of put the sock on like uh, nice. Like uh, what's his name did and you remember who's oh, the Red Hot Chili Peppers? Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's yeah. right. They knew how to wear socks. Fuck. Man. I would always go for the NBA sock. 
No matter what. Would you? Oh, yeah. And then just stuff it. <laughs> or, yeah, yeah exactly. whatever I have to do if you're going to be in that position. With marmalade. Yeah. Get the biggest fucking <laughs> oh. stock on set. And oh, that would be that really good, Marmalade. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> we got to point out that you're Steve Wozniak. I am the Woz. All right. Did yeah. you film? That's done, right? That's done. Opening Sundance. Uh, I can show you guys a picture of it. People at home nice. can see it, but yeah. I can show you guys. That had to be a good experience. Oh, it was amazing. I, I got to tell you. Ashton is going to blow, Ashton Kutcher plays Steve Jobs, mm -hmm. and he's going to blow a lot of people away. That's a picture of him. Oh, wow. Let me see. A side-by-side -side wow. comparison. Holy shit. Which one is what? which? I know. That's pretty goddamn good. Okay. Right? The, the one on the left is him, I think. Who's the saying? one on the left is him. That's but, pretty But, I mean, that was that's almost a complete very guess. very impressive. Wow. Um, and then, uh, that's me. <laughs> Oh, stop! Really, me as well. That's really good. me being an asshole. That's just you being an asshole. That's hilarious. See, that's why we need the visual. Uh, I know. I point know. it out every time. Uh, this is me we'll as Wozniak in the Wozniak in the eighties. Let me say. Wow, you look like, like Jack pass, Black almost. Pass that around. That's right. That's, right. that's what I was going for. A mixture of Jack Black. Oh and wow, Wozniak. that is a Wozniak. Oh, Jack Torrance, yeah. right yeah, before I went on the action murder spree. The apple colored apple behind. But uh, I think it's. I think the movie's going like to be him. pretty great. Holy fuck, you look like him. Yeah, the 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 journey that we took uh, is is pretty amazing, and yeah. I had known a lot about Apple only as a customer of Apple. Mm -hmm. I never really knew kind of the story of these two guys and this amazing journey that they went on together um, to create this behemoth of a company. Yeah. Um, and it, I think it's really fascinating. Do you have a picture with Obama? I have a picture of Obama. Not with him? I, they took a picture. The White House takes their own pictures, uh -huh. and then they send it to you like the president signs it. Oh. So they haven't sent it to us yet, but here's... Damn them. Did you get a I know. It's uh, a group it's picture really or one-on-one? -on -one? A one on one. Oh, that's wow. I got a one on one. I wouldn't with him. accept a group photo. No, I wouldn't you accept wouldn't. a group photo either. They they <laughs> initially said we're going to take a group photo, and I said no, you're not. No, they didn't say that. <laughs> Josh, uh, I got a picture with uh, Clinton. So I got a picture with Clinton too. Okay, Back so you down. got two. Presidents. I got two presidents. That Damn I it! That was him in the screening room, which was. It looks like the Hall of Presidents. Oh, and they let you take your phone. Hall of Presidents. Yeah, they're all trying that. to relate. It's like the Hall of Presidents. <laughs> they let you take your phone out and take pictures? No, I'm not supposed to. Have, the, the Secret Service probably will come and confiscate my phone now. <laughs> and that kill I've you, like you said earlier. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're going to hurt me. But uh, it was so cool. And just to be in the screening room. Yeah. Like, the next best thing, I guess, would be the bowling alley yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. That's so, pretty badass. Yeah, it was pretty badass. Wait, so yeah. where were you allowed that the average person wasn't in the White House besides the screening room? Well, we went. We, they gave us a tour of the East Wing. They gave us a tour. And of No like, one gets to do that, really. I don't. I don't know. That's I, like the residential I, side. The right? residential side. Yeah. Nobody goes up to the, like his home sure. portion. Mm -hmm. Um, but we got just a tour of like all where he does everything. What's the East Wing? Like, what's there that you saw that was pretty? <laughs> well, the, I mean, the coolest was the area where he gave the speech on Bin Laden's death, uh, oh, which I. Have a picture hallway. of Bill Pullman uh, standing in front of there Ooh. doing a set. Now, here's an interesting tidbit: Bill Pullman might be the only actor to ever screen two wow. movies uh, or two things of himself playing the president for two different presidents, because he also screened Independence Day yeah. for Bill Clinton. That's the hallway. That's the hallway. That's pretty cool. Uh, this the is the East hallway. Room. Wow. Which is uh, nice pano shot. Yeah, yeah pretty yes, remarkable. Yes. He used my my panorama on my oh. phone. <laughs> um, Technology rules. You didn't go to go up to see the Obama's bedroom or see where like the little upstairs. Well, was. I did. I snuck up there, but <laughs> it, it, I wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Take yeah. a black light to the bed to see if anything glows. It was. Uh, <laughs> it was <laughs> oh God. Oh God. <laughs> I know. Uh, it was. Um, that's <laughs> that's my president you're that talking about. Illegal, <laughs> I'm not the one that snapped illegal pictures in the White House. <laughs> that is true. It really is true. I have respect for the White House. <laughs> very vulnerable now, um, <laughs> but uh, it was very, it was very cool. Yeah. It was very, and I stole a couple of napkins just while nice. while we're confessing to everything. Yeah, blame me. I would have taken. You probably would be very yeah. tempted to, you know, get a fork or something. What a great experience! Anything with that white house. Amazing. Thing he's on he's it. using the the Lincoln Bible this weekend. He's yeah. using Martin Luther King and Lincoln Bible. Oh, they're, oh, he's doing two. Doing two Bibles. Stack of Bibles. But the actual Bibles. Bible that Lincoln used, which well, I guess the first he time. did, right? Okay. Yeah, he used Back it the first in, time. Uh, yeah. 2009. And he's Biden. using. He's actually using um, Daniel Day Lewis's Bible. Oh, okay. <laughs> say that. <laughs> <laughs> he's not using the original. Yeah. <laughs> so, you're fun. It's a little. Yeah. You're funny. <laughs> <laughs> a little weird. But, Where does that Lincoln uh, Bible go when they're not using it every four years? It's probably Smithsonian. Yeah. Or just in like a little like. 
inauguration pile for presidents. Of, like, I think it'd be great if it had that little slot in the back for the card that just goes into the library. <laughs> right. Yeah. 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 Stamped. Or gives it to his daughter. Somebody drew a yeah. stick figure flip movie thing <laughs> right. in the corner of it. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> that would be disrespectful, though. Yeah. yeah a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Oh, just a little bit. That's pretty. Uh, that's all right. Bro. And Biden is <laughs> swearing on his family Bible, which has been in his family since like the 1800s. Really? Who cares? Who has a family? Well, who has a family? Think of how many right. old curmudgeons have read that. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Say, get around. That's yeah. a, lot, yeah, a, lot of, a lot of Bidens use that. Yeah, a lot yeah of but Bidens. stop competing with the Lincoln Bible. You're not going to beat it. No. He's trying to do his own thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, how do you, how do you beat it? That? Right. See, I've, if it were me, I would do something just random like Gerald Ford's Bible or, <laughs> right, right. or Jimmy Carter's Bible. Right. Yes. Yeah, or like Taft. really bad. This Someone the, that no one knows. the Bible Taft <laughs> right. used to use. <laughs> yeah. Some presidential nobody's Bible. <laughs> yeah. This, this, is Jane K. Yeah. this is Jane K. Polk's Bible. Oh, there you go. This is a good one. Spiro Agnew not knocked this Bible off a table once. <laughs> I'm going to swear on it. He didn't use it. Yeah, he just, he just knocked, knocked it off a table. table. Angrily. This was this was the Bible he was angriest. Yeah. <laughs> he was cursing God due to his erection difficulties. <laughs> uh, fuck. Uh, why don't we uh, why don't we start wrapping up because uh, it is uh, getting up on that hour. Guys. And I must say. It is Friday, Josh. We uh, we think the world of you. You know that. Man. I think the world of you are. You guys. You're going to be fun. A, an even bigger star. We know it. And this 1600 pen is on Thursdays at what NBC time? NBC 930? 9:30. Following the Office. And then of course we got to check out that uh, Steve Jobs movie. Yes, the, please do. It's coming out in April. Oh. In April. Yes. I think that's it. Anything else you want to add? You good? I'm great. Right. I love you guys. Thank you for spending your day with me. All right. Cool. We'll see you a year from now. Absolutely. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Josh Gad, have a good weekend. We'll Thanks, see you guys man. Tuesday. Tell him, Fred. <laughs> the virus. Sirius XM. This is the Opie and Anthony Show.